slow download speeds on Steam can really turn off your day, especially if you're waiting for an update or for a new game that you just purchased and you want to play it now. So I'm going to give you some tips that you can do in your PC to improve the Steam download speeds. Now, the first one, it doesn't really have to do a lot with Steam, but of course, Ethernet is always going to work better as Wi-Fi. So if you can, and if you have the possibility, take an Ethernet cable from your router to your PC, and this is already going to improve a lot your internet speeds. Now, let's start with the tutorial inside of the PC. Are you tired of paying way too much for your software? Well, guys, I bring you the solution with the sponsor of this video, KeysFans. On keyfans.com, you're going to find OEM keys of Microsoft Windows, Office, and a bunch of other programs for both PC and Mac OS. I have used their keys for years without any problems. So if you are looking for a place to find software keys at a great price and that they actually work, go into the description of this video where you're going to find discount codes and special promotions. Thanks keyfans.com for sponsoring and supporting this video. You want to have Steam open and you want to click into the Steam menu on the top left corner and you want to open the settings. On the Steam settings on the left side, you want to click where you see downloads. And the first option that you want to look is the download region. You want to choose the one that is more close to where you live. If you have limit download speed turned on, you want to turn this off because this is going to limit the speed of the downloads as the name itself. Everything else, you can set it up the same way that you can see right here on the screen. You can post the video if you want, because these ones are mostly the best options that you have. Another thing that can help you is to clear the download cache. For that, on the left side, again, into downloads in the same menu as we was before, you want to click into clear cache. But wait a moment, don't do this if you are in this moment download it again, like I am, and you can see right there. Because this is going to clear all the cache and it's going to delete this and you are maybe going to have some problems with the game or it's going to start all over again. For this next step, we're going to do a couple of things inside of Windows. So you want to right click into the start button, open the settings menu. Now with the settings menu already open, on the left side you want to click where you see network and internet. On this sub menu, you want to go depending on where you have Wi-Fi or Ethernet into the one that you are connected at the moment, click on it. And you want to select the meter connection and set this into off. If you have it on, this is going to reduce your data usage in your PC, where it's going to limit the download speeds. Another option inside of the same menu is that you want to go into the advanced network settings. And from there, click into data usage. Now you can see all the applications that are using data in your PC. And if you see that any of them is taking a little bit too much, you can delete them or close them if you have them open. Now, one last option that I'm going to give to you guys is a little bit more complicated, but follow the steps along and it's really easy to do. So you want to go into the search bar and type CMD. You're going to see the command prompt. You want to right click into it and select run as administrator. Once the command prompt is open, you want to or copy and paste from the description of the video or type them yourself all the commands that I'm going to show you right here. The first one, ipconfig release, and you want to press enter. When that one is done, you want to type ipconfig flush DNS and press enter. Now you want to type ipconfig renew and press enter as well. Sometimes this one can take a little bit more of time. Now you want to type the netch int ap reset and press enter. This is going to ask you to restart your computer, but don't do it just now. We're going to type just a couple of commands more. The next one is netch winsock reset, press enter. Again, don't restart your PC. The next one is the net sh interface tcp show global, press enter. And this right here, if you see that the receive window auto toning level is in, into normal, you want to change it. And to do that, you want to enter this last command. That is net sh interface tcp set global auto tuning equal normal. And you want to press enter. When this is all done, you can now restart your PC and hopefully you're going to have better download speeds in Steam and overall in your PC. 
So guys, if you enjoy content like this one, don't forget to drop a like into the video so I know that you enjoy this content. And subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorial guides, reviews and everything else. Thanks for watching my friends and see you guys on the next time. Bye bye.